Hello and welcome. It's time to take a good look at the new Lord of the Rings set. Now it's already been unboxed. I've already done an unboxing video, which means it is now built. So we'll grab it straight away. We will take a quick look at the box at the end and go through the instructions as we go. And I will link the unboxing video to the end of this one in case you want to see it in more great detail, bags and so on and so forth. So it comes with three different instruction manuals. Each instruction manual relates to the set bit that you're building. So we'll have a quick, quick look at the start of the manual and then we can go through the actual set as well. So at the start of this, it gives you a welcome. It's got the meet the design team. Again, I've done all this in much, much greater detail. So I will link this video too. And then it's got all of the sets that are available prior to this one, but we are looking at the tower and it comes with all of the different minifigures, which we will be having a look at. Now those minifigures there are these just here. So you've got him at the bottom, I've given him both rings and him at the top. What, what we will do is we will have a good look at the detail on this set. It is absolutely stunning and it's massive as well. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at all three sections and then we'll compare all the minifigures and then we will have also a look at all three sections separately compared to, for example, the treehouse and one of the modulars. And then I will clip it together for the first ever time as well. But you can see for yourself, there are loads and loads of hidden detail and Easter eggs within these sets. So if there's anything that you can spot that you like, then obviously please do let me know in the comments below. If you've picked this up, how are you going to display and place yours? But I think it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. It's fan absolutely fantastic. When it's in the shop, it doesn't really do it justice, but you can see all the other pieces that are just over there. It is huge. And I've got the treehouse just behind it. So we've got all of that to go over. But within this, you can see it's got the bed. Sticker-wise, it wasn't too bad. We went over them, all of them in the unboxing. I think there's like nine stickers, I think, in total. So it wasn't too bad. Lots of prints and everything, which is always, always nice when you've got the printed tiles. And how they've done all of the different detail with regards to the candles. And they've added in, like, for example, that little library, the bookcase. You've got all the other little bits and pieces within there as well. It's very, very effective, I think, for all of that. And then even further up... You have, if we get him out the way, you can see at the back, you have got the writing table, the nice chair, and all the other little bits and pieces as well. And obviously, you've got the amazing detail on the roof. And this is only the smaller piece. And also, you can imagine the bigger bit was good fun to try and get all of that together. When it all gets displayed, I will add in all the minifigures properly. But again, let us know in the comments below how you've got yours and where you have put yours. But that is section number one. And this, like I said, is the tower for section number one. And just as a recap, there are a 175 pages and it's 246 steps just to get this bit done. So the second section is absolutely stunning. So we'll go through all these little bits and pieces. You can see the amazing detail on the water. These are the figures that it comes with on this bit. So I have put all of these together on this. And like I said, we'll have a much better look at the minifigures after. Water is very, very impressive. I can imagine some people are going to be raising theirs up and then adding more water through and dropping down. I'm going to try and do something like that, linking it with one of the Monkey Kid waterfalls if I can. So I will see what I can do and get everybody updated on that. But if you have got any ideas as you're looking at this, then obviously let me know and what it is you're going to do with yours. I like all the detail on the trees. The, tr the big chunky tree on the main set is ridiculous ridiculous to put together i want to try and strip that apart redo it and learn how they did that and then i can try and add in some more but there are lots and lots of little hidden details so you've got some little tools there you've got one of the weapons on the back you can see you've got the walkway in to the forgery or the forge should i say and then through and out the back you have got where all of the weapons and everything is located now as before we look at the gazebo, we will have a quick look at this. So you can see with the instruction manual, that is the bit that we're currently looking at. You can see how many bags it is needed just for this one section. So there's 22, 12 to 22 on that one. And then you've got a little bit of a write-up, but we have got the river, forge and armory section all within. So on that side, you can see that they are currently making the weapons and then you've got the armory on the back. And then you have got a huge amount of weapons in there, I think, they're all in that they need to be in. I haven't given the figures the weapons that they need just yet because I want to be able to see all the torsos and I don't want them to ping off. But you can see, for example, they should have double axes for this chap. And again, you've got all the helmet pieces and everything that I haven't given him 
his weapons yet so it's just a little bit easy to show them particularly want to lose any of them as we go and again for this section just here we are looking at 242 steps and 162 pages now this thing to put together was absolutely amazing the detail within it is very very clever and it is just like toilet seats that's basically what they've done they've clipped a lot of toilet seats together and that is it so as simple as that i would imagine it's a, supposed to be obviously a lifeguard element as well but they do use these for the for the loose seats just a different color i think it works very very well and when we get to the next bit where they've used all of the ice lollies and the brown hot dogs again it's just very very clever for the stuff that they have used within these sections let me know which is your favorite piece i am really liking this one just because of the water and everything but the next bit that's about to come in is an absolute monster this thing just here is absolutely massive this was a lot lot bigger than what i thought it was going to be it is huge and it is stunning as well it's good fun putting all of these together it's very clever actually how you get to you do it because obviously you can imagine it's all labeled in the book and then you actually do have a piece that it shows you how to put together which is something i will show you in the instruction manual now these elements down here we'll get to this bit you can see they are brown hot dogs and ice creams as well and we'll get to that bit in the booklet because it has got little things that they say as you go through but we'll pan around all of this first this is something i want to learn how to build properly and i'll take it all apart and then maybe redo it at some stage because i think it looks very 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 pretty and it works very well with this set and then again this bit up at the top you've got loads and loads of detail in the tree and it's just clever how it gets put together and obviously if you want to do any more mocks to it let us know what you're going to do to yours i do not have the skill to do anything like that but this does have a lot of different bits and pieces in it so i've cleared a little bit of space so we we'll try and spin it around without knocking anything off and over on the inside just in here you can see you've got some more detail on the table and then as we come through and round this element just here which i have got a spare one of that was very 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 pretty this thing just here hopefully it's focusing you can see it's got like a blue a blue tinge to the piece i've never seen one of these things before and it does look very 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 pretty but that is a spare in case you lose it for the bit that is just on the inside in there and you put the staircase and everything together it's really really nice as well and then as you come round the back you've got a couple of prints on the back sorry you've got a couple of stickers that you've got to put in on the back so it's not too bad they're not too painful the amount of stickers i don't mind them to be honest i know some people don't like them but the detail on the back these are all tiles so each one of these are not stickers so you do not have to worry about that it's one very big floor let us know if you think it's accurate enough to the film and obviously if you are a fan of the film as well but this is probably by far the most detailed set I think I've ever built because each bag is nice and small. It's nice bite-sized chunks for the bag, so it doesn't feel like it's going to take forever to put together because you can just sort of get through it bit by bit. So I really liked that kind of thing. Um, so it didn't take up too much space on the table because obviously they are large sets. So that's one of the things about having larger sets. Sometimes the bags are enormous and then you just eat, you need a huge amount of space to put it together. Whereas this, you literally just needed the space of what this was and then about that much space in front so it was not not too bad and painful to put together and like i said for example the chairs and this little bit and that bit would have been a bag the tree bit was a bag and then all the hidden detail is a bag but like i said we want to have a quick look at this instruction manual now the booklet three is the thickest and that is the bit that we have just done so that is this bit just here again i'll show you the comparison in a second just to how big this thing actually is comes with plenty of many figures on this side as well it is the council ring if you did not know and you can see it's done stage by stage by stage loads of bags for this one so this just good good amount but like i said with regards to just bits and pieces being written in you have something like this it says these racks can store all the extra weapons when not in use they fit nicely inside the armory by the forge and then you've just got that bit just there so there's lots of little notes and everything as we go around which again is quite nice and it says something about they were hungry at the time when they developed this one because you've got the hot dogs and the sort of popsicle bits and the ice lollies on there now when we get to the minifigures we'll have to do both ways because you have got different ways of doing it so you've got the stood up you can take the legs off 
and then you put these two together and then you can sit him down so that's a nice touch now these are actually prints not stickers for these two which is really really nice as well so we can have a good look at those in a second but before we do i think what we'll do we'll push all three of these together just so you can see the size and the scale all right that is it roughly together it gets pushed in by the pins like it does on the modular sets as well so again i've not done this but you have got the pins on the side so let's have a look and see just how easy it will slot in as simple as that and then on this side i have to move you you'll get crushed you have got the holes at the back roof lines up and he goes in just like that so that is in, roof's in. I think one of the little minifigures is in the way, but nice, simple, easy, and it looks very, very impressive and massive at the same time. But I don't know whether to display it as this. So I think if I actually push it into the middle, I think you might get an understanding of just how big this is. Now this is a full IKEA table, so it is a hefty thing. It's not too deep, this set, which is nice but it is very, very long. So it could easily go on the table to the left, but we will save that for a different video. But I don't know whether to have it as it is now or split it up and add some more trees and water to it. Moving on to the minifigures. Now I'm not even gonna to attempt to name them. Remember, they don't have their weapons or they don't have their capes because the weapons are in the armory and the capes are in the book still. But you can see the detail on the back of these that's why i didn't want to put all of the capes on because some of the minifigures are extremely detailed super super shiny arms really nice sort of metal work and everything on the back all of his armor and everything now this one has a huge piece for the beard you can see it's all plaited and everything on the bottom and then this just has the single single face because it's not needed and you can see the hair that is on the back and we plonked his helmet. And now some of them have, instead of having helmets, you can put hair pieces on if you want to. So you get all of them extra and spare. But the detail on the back of that, I think looks very, very, very smart. Now, moving on. If you know, you know with regards to this. Now on the back, he does have his second expression. Now I know one or two of you wondered if that was the case. And yes, he does. Really nice again, print on the front, comes with a stick. Super easy, super simple hairpiece, and you're away. So again, it's a nice looking, a nice looking minifigure with that one. Next one comes with the two rings. Obviously, it only comes with one, but it does give you a spare. Has dual face. So if you want to have the hypnotized face as well as the normal face, then you can do if you want to. You can pick and choose. It's completely different if you have them that way with the hair on, and it would be without. So they both look very, very effective. And you can see just how shiny those rings are and how little teeny tiny his legs are. But again, you've got the nice, the nice print and everything on the back. You've got the belt buckle and everything. Obviously, he would he would have his cape, but I wanted to show show off all of this. Moving on to the next one. Two faces, sort of a smug and a not so happy because I need some food. Plonk him on. Simple as that. Nice, nice jacket, nice buttons. And again, very, very similar. So all the ones at the back for their prints they are all basically the same so you can see just at the back here they are very very similar designs with regards to the belt buckle at the back but the bits at the top are completely different so this one i've just given him the spare hot dog that came with the council chairs just because they're always eating no scarf on this one dual face again so you can have the worried or you can have the happy but it's got a nice little torso print on the front of that one, I think. So that's quite nice. Moving on. So this one that is, again, always hungry. Got the carrots and split that one up. And you've got a little bit of a sort of a different cheeky grin. I thought that was a tongue sticking out the side, but he's not. Little mark on the chin, little eyebrows. And again, teeny, teeny tiny legs. And he's got the happy, happy I'm about to stuff my face for the 50th time in the day for food. Moving on, so again, with regards to some of the hair pieces, some of them are enormous, but they do also include the ears as well. So again, dual face, but really, really nice print on the back of this one, super shiny, nice green across the top. Has got a bit of, I was about to say battle damage, but it's got the actual markings properly within the dress. You've got two lines down that way, two lines there, and two lines going across the top. And then over the neck, if it's showing, you've got a lot of print on the green on the back. And again, the same on the front, where it's got all of the chain link down at the front. You've got a really nice belt 
So a very, very shiny and very, very effective figure, but you can see how the ears just pop on to the side. So again, big, big beard piece. It's exactly the same as the ginger one with regards to having the plaits at the back and again, the plaits at the front. This one does just have the one face. So obviously they'll sit beside each other if you want to on the ring. If you can see, got cool little different design on the eyes on that one. Are they exactly the same face? No, so you can see the eye print are slightly different. So the eyes are a little bit closer together and the eyebrows are completely different. It's just the beard that is exactly the same on that one. So they have given you a different head, which is nice. But again, like I said, you can have the hair instead of helmets on certain minifigures if you wanted to. On to this one. Again, got the big ears, part of the hair, nice plaits on the back. And you can have the smug or the determined face on this one. But again, this one has really nice printing on the front, really nice and shiny. All of the, the belts and leather, the leather markings over the front. And then you've got the different trousers and the shoes and everything on this one. And again, you've got all on the back. So nice and accurate, I would imagine. If you are very, very familiar with the film, then obviously let me know. I've seen it once and once only, and that was only just recently. But I'm not using this for what this set's for. I'm going to be using this for a nice picnic walkthrough like they have got at Legoland Florida. So it's perfect for me. Now, this is one of the figures which has quite a lot of bits and pieces with. So Gandalf himself, not only do you have the opportunity of taking the hair off, the head ha only has the one facial expression and it just has obviously the beard at the front. If I take everything apart just to get to the actual print so there we go so the print on the front of him very very cool and again you've got it all at the back and it does link through now the nice thing is is that you've got the bit at the front on there but i do believe they've even added it in on that bit I do believe that is on upside down so it'll be that way so they match like for like, so you have got the opportunity to change the bases like we saw with the feet. You can do these on some of the minifigures and you can just see if you wanted to, you've got a nice hair and hat piece combination. So you can pick and choose either one that you want. And obviously you've got the, the nice beard as well. Moving on to the next lot. So there's a couple still to go. This one, very very sort of similar expression you've got a slightly different mouth open on that one and then you've got him closed on that one you've got the eyebrow nice torso print again nice and shiny on the front plain on the back but you've got a nice little print on the trousers on that one again it gives a good a good shine off onto this one again hairpiece with the ears just the just by say single it's got the jaw face and that has got the basically the exact same sort of metal armor as the other one that we've just seen and it's pretty cool on the front as well. Moving around to this one. So this one obviously has its really nicely printed shield. And you can obviously give him a sword. Nice difference with the face on that one as well. So you can see nice aggressive face. And then uh, I'm ready for anything. And then you've got the nice print on the front. And again, you've got the nice on the back as well. Nearly there, nearly there. Oh, Mr. Matrix himself. What a cool figure this is. So you've got the hair bit, jaw to a tone, a little bit of on the back, and then you've got the nice print all the way through at the front. And again, this is the same sort of thing where you can have him sat at the table if you wanted to with this secondary piece. So it's super, super clever that you then get the opportunity if you wanted to, to actually sit them around that bit and sit them on, on the chairs if you wanted to. If not, you don't need to whatsoever. And then we have her. So again, comes with the book, nice little bit on the inside, nice plaits on the back. And this one has a super, super happy face. And then it has a little bit more serious face just there. So you are very, very much spoilt for choice for the minifigures. Okay, we are currently under attack from this one. And I want to show you the Easter egg. So if we go between your paws, sir, thank you very much. Now, this here actually completely comes off. So this one big piece, this tree 
and this all comes off. You're going to help Rocky, are you? Yes, thank you very much. Come on, out of the way. Get your bum. This here, as you can see, comes off. All nice and sturdy. And it gives you a little bit of an Easter egg. So if you know what that is, write it in the comments below. Are you looking forward to that next set potentially being the next one that's going to be coming? I do like the fact that it is a cool little Easter egg. And it's on show for ages because you build that basically first. Build all of these bits around it. And then you build this as one of the last things. But it's super sturdy and super easy, he says, to put back together. Now Rocky has moved. Will it be a little bit easier to plonk on and through? Just like that. Simple as that. So you can see just how easy it is and all of the detail and everything that is on the inside so again super super cool easter egg and again a little bit more detail on there you're going to get some absolutely stunning photos with this and i would imagine loads of people are going to be lighting theirs up right time to compare so we're going to do all three to the same two so we've got the jazz club just here obviously to the left that is the newest modular and then we've got the tree house to the right let me know what you think do you think it's a good size this is obviously the smallest piece by an absolute mile. It is just under the 32 by 32 base plate in length. So I plot that right in line with the 32, just a couple of studs short on this one, but it is taller. The very, very top is taller and the back is, well, a good sort of four or five studs taller on that. And that is the shortest and smallest on that one. Again, you can see all the detail on the back of this one and comparing it to the tree house as it spins round, I think that could work quite well for the ideas that I have. Section number two. So as a standalone thing, again, it is a bigger piece. It's not quite a 32 by 32 in depth, but it is there, there or thereabouts in length. You can see the gazebo is about the same height as the side of that bit, and the tree is there or thereabouts the same to the top of here. And I think they do look rather effective, those two side by side. Now this one has got a bigger base or a slightly bigger shape to the base than this one because they are sort of all cut in and wavy, but this one does take up a little bit more table space with regards to depth and obviously in length as well. Don't forget the first two pieces that I've seen, well, the first two pieces that I've just shown you are all connecting, if you want them to, to the bit that you're about to see now. So this thing is so, so, so much bigger. Now that is, I haven't moved the other two and you can see how much I need to move these two over just to be able to slot that one in the gap. So that is what that looks like. Very, very effective looking thing. It is uh, on two 16 by 16s, and then you add in the sections at the front. So it is over a 32 by 32 base plate, as you can see for depth and in length. So if you are thinking how you are going to display this as a separate bit, at least you know what that looks like. But those two, again, close together, I think look absolutely amazing. I can't imagine many people putting it in within their city. They'll be putting it within all the leaves and all the greenery, but at least you can see how this scales. Now, the roof itself is just slightly under the roof of the top of this modular. If you were to take the lip off this one, it'll be there, there, or thereabouts, just to where the red is. But the tree is taller than that modular. And again, so is this piece just here. And that is it slightly split up with that amazing tree house just behind it. I think that looks rather smart myself. So I'll be having a mess around in a completely different video, right? The last thing we need to do is open this up. So it's rushed. I cannot feel my fingers and I cannot feel my face. It's currently snowing and it is ridiculously cold in here. So how many of these do we have? Look at the different colors. So we've got one, Two, three, four, five, and six. Now, this one, out of all of them, actually isn't just a plane. It has got the chain link on it as well. So that won't be coming through on the camera. So that has a cool little chain link effect, whereas all the others are completely, completely smooth. Some of them feel more felty than the others, but they will be added to the minifigures as and when they need to be. But I think that is it, we are done. So what I will do is I will link the unboxing video to the end of this video if you wanna see all the bags and the instruction manuals in much greater detail. There will be another video coming in due course with regards to where this is actually gonna be going because I have got the A-frame that I wanna try and add with this and we've got some of the Monkey Kid waterfall bits and pieces to go in. But I think it looks nice and effective. I think it's a very, very good looking thing. I think it's one of those sets which just looks absolutely fantastic. But guys, that is it. I am done. If you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, 
Thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and have to get to the next one. Ta-da.